the well, Gregory I, Project. I'm sure it would have, yes. Uh, Richard, um, again, if you concluded that the time for the Brookings cautions had passed, yes. and that uh, it was time to unwind this, perhaps slowly, then wouldn't, would it not make sense that the religious leaders, like the Pope, would begin to say things that would slowly lead the religious community into uh, a more comfortable belief that, for example, evolution or something other than creation, as the Bible states it, might be possible and might be consistent with Christianity. That would be the religious sector. That our scientific sector would begin to date things and say, look, it's much older. Uh, mankind is much older than we imagined. The artifacts much older than we imagined. And they would begin to come up with evidence like the rock from Mars and life from elsewhere. And it all begins to unfold. Time release aspirin. Time yeah, release I mean, aspirin. It is a consistent picture. And remember, the church as an institution has done this before. The church ultimately accommodated to Galileo, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. This was a remarkable statement by the Pope, though. Remarkable. Yeah, it is. And uh, there are ripples coming all over the place from it. I've been hearing them the last couple of days, Richard. Believe me, a lot of Christians are very upset. Well, you know, having been a Roman Catholic, and, and having reconciled, you know, the apparently irreconcilable a long time ago, you can't have truth arguing with truth. You know, the God that I imagine is a God that, you know, basically didn't create paradox and contradiction. The paradox and contradiction come from the fallibility of human beings in attempting to impose their interpretations on the reality of the universe itself. And since science is a process of figuring it out, of admitting and understanding human fallibility. That's why when you keep comparing my positions on your show now to what I said four or five weeks ago, and I gently remind you that this is a moving target, this is a scientific process, and what I always say is an approximation, because we're not infallible. This is a human activity of uncovering the truth, and it's a never-ending process. You never get to the end of the journey. I know, I, I know, and I'm doing it for a reason, Richard. I'm doing it because if I don't, the audience <laughs> will sit out there and shred your credibility based on the fact that you have changed, seemingly, your position, uh, and they don't, they don't like that. They're not comfortable with that, and so I need for you to explain to them why that's occurring, that the, the truth, as it's uncovered, is, in fact, a moving target, as you explained. learned new stuff. There, there you go.